having participated in the events leading to the launch of the Lagos State Security Trust Fund, I am aware that this is not a process that you leave to government alone. This is a process that involves all of us, particularly the private sector. Indeed, we know that the enabling environment for doing business is critical to profits in the private sector. This morning, I call upon all companies, all entrepreneurs, all citizens, individual and corporate of Edo State to join our state government in pushing our agenda for a peace filled, serene environment across Edo State. And so, on behalf of myself and the many institutions I represent, our launching contribution to the Edo State Security Trust Fund is 200 million naira. The kidnappers were using the advantage of the forest, knowing too well. Navigating the forest may be a bit difficult, considering the, the equipment available to the security agencies. But interestingly, the executive governor of Edo State has always been there for us. When it comes to matters of tracking criminals that have taken to flight into the forest, he's always there assisting us to provide the necessary wherewithal to ensure that we track the criminals to exactitude, to locating them where they are. Through the instrumentality of uh, the governor of the state and the understanding of the inspector general of police, we have in a state well-established police marine base. We don't need to run to Delta State, we don't need to run to Bayelsa, we don't need to run to Ndo State to seek for any assistance on our waterways any longer. Indeed, we are making an equivocal statement about our commitment to improve our vital institutions and the processes on, on which these institutions are based. For our administration, the quest for a genuinely civil and responsive society must start with assuring our people of their safety and the safety of their property. Therefore, all efforts at responsible and responsive governance must be people-oriented to justify the mandate which you gave us to govern. As a necessary corollary, we will exert strenuous and concerted efforts to circumvent crimes and terrorist actions and any other offshoots by ensuring that we deploy sufficient and appropriate operational and material equipment and kits to our security forces so that we can completely combat the challenges of crime which face us today. Our state has largely enjoyed the enviable status of being one of the most peaceful states in the Niger Delta region. And therefore, in our conviction that we should not allow this advantage to slip away from us, we are today launching a new security architecture and a security trust fund. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Edo State Government, I am proud to announce to you that the sum of 2 billion Naira has been set aside in a 2019 proposed budget as seed fund for the Edo State Security Trust Fund, which we are launching today. We are taking security very, very seriously. And in doing so, we are ensuring that we collaborate fully with all federal government agencies. And with God on our side, we believe that we will succeed. From the Nigerian police, the military, Department of State Security, the National Security and Defense Corps, 
We also have now introduced what we call the Public Works Volunteers, PUWOV. This is a scheme where we are recruiting a minimum of 100 young men and women from each ward across Edo State. The first 1,000 of them have been recruited, and these men and women have been trained by the Nigerian police and other security agencies. They are all going to be kitted in uniforms so that they can be identified. Their biometrics have been obtained. They've all gotten security clearances, and they will help us not only in supporting the security agencies to ensure that there's law and order in our states, they will help us in intelligence gathering and also monitoring government assets across the states. For the good people of the state, the name of the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit.